<laughs> hey Jags, I'm Mirka and today we'll take a look at keeping our campus clean, school-wide event, club news, school spirit, and what's new in sports. First Things First on TJTV starts right now. Good morning, Toby Johnson. I'm Herpree, and it's First Things First period on Friday, September 21st, 2018. That means it's time for First Things First on TJTV. I'm Asha. Being respectful to your peers and teachers shows your Jaguar pride. Let's go to Noe and Harpreet to hear about ways you can be respectful in the gym. This is Harpreet Damra reporting for TJTV. Today we asked one student from each team how they can be respectful in the gym. Here's what they said. You can show respect in the gym by staying quiet and waiting patiently for directions. We can show respect in the gym by throwing away our trash. You can show respect in the gym by listening to your teacher. Thanks, students. Remember, always be respectful around campus. I'm Herpreet. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Snowy and Herpreet. Speaking of being respectful, we are happy that many students are picking up their trash. There are still spots on campus that need your help to stay clean. The Adopt-A-Spot program is still in full swing. Go to Ms. Alviani and MC11 to sign up. Webb will create a sign for you. Remember, you may pick any spot on campus to adopt. You and your friends can share a spot too. We appreciate all of your efforts to keep our campus clean. The first dance of the year is today. The AD Strikes Back dance will be from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. after school. If you haven't bought yourself a ticket yet, you can still buy one today. Go to the student store during lunch. You cannot buy a ticket at the gate. Tickets are $7 for every student, including those with an ASB sticker. Every student going to the dance must have a ticket and their ID. You will not be let in without them. If you misplaced your ID, go to the student store at lunch to buy a replacement for $5. Let's go to leadership students to learn about how to enter the dance after school once you have your ID and ticket. Just like a normal day, the bell will dismiss you as usual. Leave the campus the way you normally do. The campus will lock down at 3.20 p.m. Then you'll re-enter the school here, at the gate at the end of the drop-off loop. Walk all the way past the basketball courts. Line up in a single file line. Lastly, you'll check in here. Many of you might be intimidated by the thought of a dance. However, our dances at TJMS are so much more than you think. For those of you who don't want to dance, there will be a Jeep Factory gaming truck, a photo booth, and inflatable Nerf gun and maze, and a giant inflatable dartboard. Let's go to Jenna to hear about the dance from the perspective of an eighth grade. I'm Jenna from TJTV, and today I interviewed eighth graders to get their perspective on the dance to see what seventh graders should be looking for. Now let's go see more. The dancing, because that's always heck of fun. The, uh, the food, the little uh, blow-up thingies they got out here. Is it's a really great um, opportunity to have fun after school hours and just hang out with your friends. Well, I think it's a real fun, uh, fun thing to do in seventh, uh, eighth grade and seventh grade. I enjoy the dances because I get to hang out with my friends. Oh, like the music and stuff, I, I liked it. Um, I do enjoy the dances um, just because like there's many activities for, um, for many types of people and you can do everything. <laughs> Hope to see you at the dance today. Reporting for TJ TV, I'm Jenna Calvert. Now back to the desk. There will also be tons of good food available to buy. You'll need to bring cash to buy them. You can buy pizza, spam a suvi, candy, chips, and drinks. Unlike other school events, cell phones will be permitted at this dance. If you will be posting anything on social media, make sure to tag us at Toby Johnson MS. If you are planning to leave the dance early, please see Mrs. Kincaid in MC6. Please make sure your ride home knows that the dance ends at 5 p.m. We don't want anyone to be left without a ride home. 
Now let's go to Veronica for club news. Attention Patriots, the sneak preview will be tomorrow, Saturday the 22nd at TJMS in room MC12. The practice will, will last from 9, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Anyone still interested in joining the Cyber Patriot team should come. We will meet in the front parking lot near Student Services at 8.55 a.m. Here's an, here's an important announcement for the Toby B Club. The regular meeting have been switched from Monday to Wednesday, but there will still run from but they will still run from room from after school until 3.30 p.m. This allows those who want to be a part of the cake baking and decorating club to participate in it. If you are interested in writing a story for publication on the Toby B website, stop by Mrs. LaChapelle's classroom in MC9 after school until 3.30 on Wednesday. Yesterday, our mathletes competed in their first competition of the year. They competed against many other schools from the district at Florin High School and placed fourth. Team, er, team A earned 64 points and Team B earned 78 points. Keep up the great work, athletes. I'm Veronica, now back to the desk. Thanks, Veronica. It's been great to see TJ and Mess dress up every day for Spirit Day. We love to see the creativity and effort you guys have put into your outfits. Morning, mo morning math tutoring continues on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7.30 to 8 a.m. in room MF11. Progress report cards grades are due. Please see Mrs. Otani for details. Speaking of learning from others, many 7th graders were still nervous about being in a new school. Now let's go to Asha to hear what kind of advice 8th graders want to give to 7th graders. Advice I'll give to 7th graders is to always do your homework so that you can keep a satisfactory grade. Be respectful to your teachers and kind to them also. The advice I would give to 7th graders is to uh, listen to your teachers and uh, respect other people. Um, I would tell the 7th graders to choose your friends wisely and make sure that you can trust them. Picture retakes are today, Friday, September 21st. If you're enrolled after August 16th, then you need to take your picture today. For those of you who just simply don't like your photo, bring back your purchase package and get another picture taken. The 7th grade picture window is from 8.15 to 9.30 and the 8th grade picture window is from 10 to 11. Please return completed stage crew applications to Mrs. Garcia. They are, due, they are due to her by the end of the school day today. The No Excuse Go to School pick Poster Contest is still going on. If you aren't already participating, please pick up your entry form from your team office staff. Create a poster that illustrates what motivates you to go to school every day. The deadline for poster entries is Friday, October 12, 2018. Hey, Herpreet, do you know what time it is? I think it's time to talk. Sports, Sports Talk. talk. Hey Jags, I'm Jenna and it's time to talk sports talk. The volleyball teams traveled to Eliz Elizabeth Pinkerton Middle School yesterday to compete in their third game of the year. Our seventh grade team beat Pinkerton in the first third set. As for the 8th grade team, they also won against Pinkerton. In, the, in time, the sec, in the second set, we'd like to give a big congratulations to each and every player for their great work. Our cross-country team also has been working, on, working very, hard practice, very hard practicing every day. Set your calendars for their next competition on Saturday, September 29th. They'll travel to Hagen Oaks Golf Complex in Sacramento. The teams will compete in the cross in the Capital Cross Country Challenge Meet. Good luck to our advance and our, to our runners. I'm Jenna, and I'll see you next time when it's time to talk sports talk. Thank you, Amelia and Haley. That wraps it up for today's show. Tune in next week for more stories and information on First, first Things First, first on TJTV. TV. I'm Harpreet. Don't forget to bring your ID if you're buying a dance ticket. And I'm Asha. Make, Make today, today your best day, day yet. yet.